Xperia XZ3 is official. Just six months after the Xperia XZ2 was launched back at MWC 2018, we now have a fresh new Sony flagship. And this is the first Xperia to boast an OLED display, packing some of that smart Sony Bravia tech. We spent the afternoon fondling the Sony Xperia XZ3 and here is our hands-on review as well as a full rundown of all the new features and upgrades. So the XZ3 rocks the same sleek glass design as the Xperia XZ2 but don't worry about the XZ3 being all fragile and dainty or anything. This thing is tougher than a concrete Jason Statham, mostly thanks to the Gorilla Glass 5 surfacing on the front and the back. The 3mm aluminium frame is also 40% stronger than the XZ2 and as usual the Xperia XZ3 is IP68 certified so no worries if you fumble it into the urinal after a few shandies. Now the Xperia XZ3 comes in a choice of four colours, there's the standard black and white silver and our two favourites the forest green and the new Bordeaux red. That last one is definitely a strong rival to the OnePlus 6 for the most gorgeous crimson handset of 2018. The XZ3 rocks a more subtle shade however, it's almost purple in certain light, although not full on purple like the so called Bordeaux version of the Oppo Fine X. So the Xperia XZ3 rocks a Bravia OLED display for the very first time, giving you a super bright and vivid output, along with that full HDR support as usual. It's a 6 inch Quad HD Plus panel, so it's a bit of a halfway house between the Full HD XZ2 and the 4K Premium models, in terms of resolution at least because it's actually bigger than both of them. And as standard you get an 18 by 9 aspect ratio. All of the usual Sony visual smarts are packed on there as well, so for instance you get the X Reality upscaling, so any SDR video that you stream or you pack onto the phone will be upscaled close to HDR quality. And you'll also get an upscaling in the resolution as well from Full HD to close to Quad HD. You can do full customization as always, with a bit of super vivid mode, stuff like that, so you can get it set up just the way you like. After our hands-on session, we are certainly impressed. The Sony Xperia XZ3 is more than a match for the OLED panels on the likes of the P20 Pro and Google's Pixel 2 XL. Frankly, watching a movie on this thing is kind of like a hand job for your eyeballs. An eye job, I guess? And of course, Sony hasn't forgotten the audio either. Those S4 surround sound speakers are now 20% louder than the XZ2, so you can proper annoy everyone on the bus. And you get lots of clever Sony audio tech on there as well, including the DSEE HX upscaling, which just boosts up any of those low quality compressed tracks you might have lying around still. And you get full LDAC headphone support, and yes, dynamic vibration to get the XZ3 rumbling like a morpho whenever you're watching a Marvel movie or something like that. The other big thing about Sony phones is the camera tech, of course. Here on the XZ3 you'll find the same 19 megapixel f2.0 camera module as on the Xperia XZ2. There are a couple of new software features, so for instance there's the Smart Launch. What this does is basically if you pick up the phone and hold it aloft, it'll kind of understand that you want to take a photo and therefore switch on the camera app automatically. It's certainly a pretty quick way of doing things and of course as usual you get that dedicated camera button which you can also use to quick load the camera app. You also now get a new modes menu at long last which stashes away all of the bonus stuff. That can be quick access from any screen so it's nice and simple. But besides that it is pretty much the same story as before, you can take crisp shots across all kinds of conditions, you can shoot up to 4K HDR resolution video and you also get full HD super slow motion. So what about the rest of the Sony Xperia XZ3 specs? Well you get a Snapdragon 845 chipset packed in there backed by 4 gigs of RAM the same as the Xperia XZ2. And as for the storage, no change there either, 64 gigs on board, although now micro SD memory cards of up to 512 gigs are supported. The battery has been slightly boosted too to a 3300 milliamp effort, complete with the wireless charge and Qi support as before. And of course the Qnovo tech is on board as well to keep your battery in pristine condition over a length of a 24 month contract. Now the Xperia XZ3 will be one of the first phones to come packing a bit of Android Pie right out of the box, you'll be able to jump straight on board with the latest version of Google's mobile OS. This has of course been boosted with the usual awesome Sony features such as remote play, stuff like that. Thankfully there's a bit of one handed mode action as well so it's a bit easier considering it's a massive 6 inch beast now. And Sony has also added in what it calls the side sense interface as well. And what this does is basically just give the side of the screen a quick double tap when you're in your desktops and this will bring up an app shortcuts bar. This allows you to jump straight into your favourite apps and of course it can be fully customised within the settings. Sony's even made it quite clever as well so it will actually learn your habits and offer up the kind of apps that it thinks that you will need at specific times of the day based on your previous habits. But if you want to you can knock all that guffins off and just manually set it up the way you like it. 
From that size sense bar, you could also jump straight into features such as the one-handed mode as well, which is definitely handy. And those sensors also accept other gestures as well. So for instance, if you slide your thumb down the side of the screen, that will take you back a step through whatever you're doing in your web browser, whatever other apps you're using at the time. And you can also double tap within apps and that will perform certain actions as well. So for instance, one of the default ones is if you're in your camera app and you double tap the side of the screen, it can take a shot. Now, if you're using the phone one-handed, it's a bit of a rubbish option because obviously the phone will just shake around as you're tapping it. Not exactly a replacement for that dedicated camera button. It does work a lot better if you're holding the phone with two hands, but again, it's not exactly a great substitute. And the good news is that side sense can be used with either side of the phone, so it doesn't matter whether you're left or right-handed, it'll work fine. And you can completely deactivate it in the settings if you want. So that in a nutshell is Sony's Xperia XZ3, but the phone will be hitting stores in October, so not too long to wait. And if you're wondering, there's no news on an Xperia XZ3 compact just yet. The XZ2 compact will continue to be ranged. Considering the likes of a compact phone probably wouldn't benefit too much from that OLED tech and you wouldn't be able to get that side sense tech either, there's probably not really much reason for it to be honest. So what do you think of the Sony Xperia XZ3? If you've just bought the XZ2, are you tempted to upgrade already after just six months or are you a bit peeved that Sony's refreshing its phone so quickly? And if you don't have the XZ2, are you tempted to jump up straight to the XZ3? Definitely looks like a nifty bit of kit. Stay tuned for a full unboxing and review and everything else of the Xperia XZ3. And definitely let us know what you think in the comments below. Oh, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more on the latest. Cheers, love you!